David from Memphis says, as an old school fan, I'm glad to see tag team wrestling once again being featured with The Shield and WWE and Bad Influence, uh, Kaz and Daniels, who I'm huge fans of their work, except for Kaz's comment last night, in TNA. My question for yeah. Pac stems from his own tag team career. How were Kane and next week's live cast guest Bob Holly as partners, and who was your favorite partner in your career? Is that the, is that the total question? Yeah, total question. Yeah. Uh, he obviously, it was way different. Like, okay, Kane... Kane, uh, and like we were talking about Sid earlier, that was cool. Uh, it, it, it's nice to have like the, 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 you know, we're so different, you know, but the, I kind of like the odd couple. Yeah. And, and that, and, um, and you know, so I got my ass kicked a lot working, you know, being the partner of Kane and Sid because, you know, who's going to take all the bumps in that, okay. in that operation, you know? Yeah. Uh, but, um, and, and even in uh, working with Bob, and, and, and I could compare Bob uh, a lot to teaming with Marty Jannetty because we're both, you know, we're all about the same size. Um, and, and, that, and, and our roles could be kind of interchangeable, you know. One guy doesn't always have to take the heat in the match and, you know, things like that. So uh, um, as far as my favorite partner, and, and obviously like, you know, Hunter and, and, and Kevin and Scott and, Dog and all, all that, you know, the DX and the NWO Wolfpack stuff is all like my favorite stuff. Uh, is strictly tag team wise, like Kane was my favorite partner ever. I thought we got a lot of really good stuff out of that. Yeah. We told some really good stories uh, in, in that, you know, in my time teaming with Kane. We got a lot of mileage out of out of that. I want to uh, let the listeners know who are listening to us live that they can email questions right now to pwtorchlivecast at gmail.com, pwtorchlivecast at gmail.com. And uh, we are live here at pwtorchlivecast.com, and uh, we welcome your, uh, your phone call, uh, 646-721-9828. In just a moment, we'll go to your call. Sean Waltman, known best as X-Pac and Six is my guest today and uh next week as we mentioned bob holly and kevin kleinrock um sean uh, what do you think of the kane daniel bryan storyline and the dynamic between those two they've been teaming for a long time done a lot of uh you know they, they've gotten a lot of tv time and uh it, it, it's it's going to be uh, i think a dynamic and a team that a lot of people who are big fans today remember and talk about for a long time i'm a big fan of it i uh, you know well i'm a big fan of each of theirs individually yeah uh, both personally and uh, you know professionally. So um, I saw the I saw the parallels right away as soon as I saw those guys you know get stuck together. Well, not stuck together. But I mean put together. Um, um, I think they've done some pretty interesting stuff. It's you know the whole anger management stuff. It's it's a little out there, you know. And I I don't like the way they. Um, the only thing is, is I think they pussified Kane a little bit, you know, a little bit too much. For, you know, since when did he care about this or that or, you know, different things that, that really, I think, went against uh, his character or his persona that he's, that he's had since day, day one from the day he, he uh, was introduced as Kane years think, and years ago. I think what they're doing with him is what, like, sitcom dads, do in TV series that are aimed at adolescent kids, which is, you know, as a kid you live with adults being authority figures, so when you watch on TV and they're made to look dumb and fallible and silly, the kids like to laugh because it's unexpected, and sure. Kane being the monster for so long in WWE aiming for, you know, PG level audience is trying to, sh you know, for people who know that Kane is the monster and he's still scary, but that he can, you know, want to hug and you know do all this stuff and I think that's where they're coming from I'm not I'm not I'm not judging whether I like it or not or I think it's good or not but I think that's kind of where they're coming from is like isn't this so crazy that this monster cane is has a softer side and a sense of humor yeah I, I get it yeah. I get it like I mean it's not it doesn't have to really be explained because it's it's obvious but it just it really it got to me like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm picturing in my mind cane 
at one point, like going, "Gee, I don't know, AJ." Talking to little the little girl AJ, you know, yeah. and like having a conversation with her that made me go, "Ah," you know. I wanted to hit the TV. I'm like, "That's not the monster Kane," yeah. you know. Yeah. That I, I used to work so hard to protect his monster uh, <laughs> persona. I boy, I used to go to some serious. Uh, I'd take my fist and go to war when they try to. Uh, when they try to make him do things like talk, they, you have no idea how many times they tried to make him talk before he actually did it. Really? And how many times they talked about taking the mask off. I'm like, he's not talking. He's not taking the mask, you know. I'm like, you guys just don't get it, you know. Wow. So, and he spoke volumes. He spoke volumes without saying a word. He's one of the best. You know? He is absolutely one of the best at, uh, at being able to... Uh, Emote with just through a little twitch, a little head turn, yeah. uh, under a mask. It, it's just, it, it really is amazing. You know, he, he's one yeah. That. Yeah, and I, you know, I mean, it was really cool. Like when we like won the tag titles, and you know, uh, it was funny because uh, we're working with Jeff Jarrett and and the late great Owen, who his the anniversary of his death just came and went. Um, may he rest in peace. Uh, but. Um, we were still doing that thing where Kane would turn on me still, you know, like he would still, like he was still unpredictable, like an unpredictable dog, like he never knew like when he was going to bite the hand that fed him, you know, yep. and so, you know, he comes in and cleans house and, you know, uh, boom, down goes uh, Jeff, like one of them, and then I'm, I'm like, I'm in the ring and the people are going crazy. And then Kane Lee looks over at me and he grabs me by the throat and everybody's like, oh shit, he's gonna Google, like, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna choke slam me. And he picked me up over his head and he threw me on top of Jeff or whoever it was for the one, two, three, and like it was like a big swerve, you know. And the people, the people really dug the finish. And even like Steve Austin, when I came back to the curtain, was like, oh man, I love that finish. That was such a feel-good finish, you know. Yeah. It was. It was really cool. Very cool. Well, that was my that that was that was my um, that was my reward for uh, for being team player at WrestleMania and uh, doing the job for Shane letting letting Hunter turn on. Cool. Extreme.